Hi and welcome back to our continuing classes on uh, Civil Engineering 305 which is uh, Mechanics of Materials. Today we are going to see the process by which we do a complete structural analysis of a simple structure to understand how safe is it under failure. So we want to look at what is called structural safety. To give you an example, look at this crane, which was, uh, which is actually a, a, a crane in Doha, uh, which is carrying some heavy loads. I want you to see that somewhere out here, there will be a load, W, and we want to figure out how much, how thick to make this cable. The second question we want to answer, which is a trickier one is, why is this bigger in cross section than the cable? I'll, I'll give you a partial answer to this. Over time, we'll learn a little bit more about how this works. So, how do we do a structural analysis of this kind of a setup? So, let us go down a little bit. We will say how to carry out steps in carrying out, out a structural safety evaluation. We are doing a simple version. We are not going to do a complex version. We are just going to do a simple version of this. So please remember, this is simplistic version. That's all we are going to be able to do in 305. If you want to do a complicated version, you got to get a PhD and uh, you really have to, you really have to get plenty of experience because this is a dangerous and extremely sensitive business. So you have to be really good at this, okay? But at this stage, we just want to show you how this thing works, so that you have some knowledge of about how this how this should be uh, done. Okay, so our first, remember, we talked about the fact that there are three S's, strength, stiffness, and stability. So typically, this is very hard. And like all undergraduate courses, we will not do that until the very end because this is really, really hard. Okay, still looking at stability of these kinds of structures and figuring out when it will buckle and things like that is pretty hard. So we are not going to do that first. We will look at strength and stiffness. Typically, these two things are interconnected. What I mean by that is, you have to do both together. Except for some special circumstances. And we'll talk about it when we get to it, okay? So you got this idea? Very good. So now let's get into this. Let's get into the detail of this. So our steps are the following. And by the way, it's a good idea to memorize the steps because we will do this again and again and again. I am not one of the people who say you don't have to remember everything. Everything is available in Google. Okay. Just to give you an example, your name is there in Google. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't know your name. Okay. There are certain basic things that you have to know. Roughly speaking, if you have to co have a conversation with somebody in a particular language, you better remember the words in that language. Okay, so this is an example of some of the words in the structural safety language that you should know. So the first one that we are going to do is identify. So first one we are going to do is identify the load. How much load are we going to take? So that's 
this is actually a matter of lot of work plus experience it's not like you know how much load the crane is supposed to take you should look around see what typical cranes are being used for what your particular crane is being used for and so on and you have to estimate how much load it's going to take okay the second thing that you have to do and this is very tricky and you have to figure out whether um, how much is it constant load or time varying if it is constant it's called a dead load if it is time varying it's called a live load and if it's time ray varying you could have regular or random for example or sudden so if it is sudden it's called impact if it is random it's just random load and if it is regular it's called sinusoidal or maybe periodic typically machinery will have periodic load like you know if something is spinning at a steady speed it will have a periodic load impact loads are things where you are worried about crashes and that's that kind of stuff so you have sudden change in load that's an impact load uh, random loads are things that happen because of wind loading you know because there's an earthquake or some unexpected event that causes things to shake around a bit that's called a random load okay so you have to know what kind of load it is how to 